and welcome back to my channel for another one of those YouTube channel slash financial updates. I'm making this not in a, oh, look at me, bragging, here's my life sort of video. This video is just to share with you guys how I was able to triple my YouTube income and the sort of strategies that I use and implemented. So if you are watching this and you are also somebody who is trying to up their YouTube game, try to figure out tick, ticks try to figure out tricks and tips on ways to grow your channel that have worked, at least for me. I figure if I can help at least one person out, this video has done its job. I'm gonna say the sentence I have never uttered before that I never thought I would utter, but here it is. YouTube just paid my mortgage payment. It, it just did. During the month of August, I kind of changed my strategy. I decided mid to late July that I was going to upload a video every single day, Monday through Friday. And each Monday was going to be a specific theme. Tuesday was going to be a theme, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I sat down with my Google calendar. I will outline this along the way so you know exactly how I did this. And if I miss something, and if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment. Anyway, I sat down two weeks before August 1st and I opened my Google calendar and I viewed it on the month, like not the week, not the day. I could see the entire month of August on the screen. And I went and color coded all the Mondays in one color, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, so on and so forth. From there, I knew that Monday was going to be this topic. Tuesday was going to be this topic. And from the knowledge of the topics, I made lists of, you know, I need five Mondays for this month, but I'm going to have six or seven different ideas. And I kind of just organized all the Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays. So by the end of the week in July, I had the entire month of August planned out with videos. That was step one. Step one is kind of the easy part of the game, sitting down and saying, okay, here are the days they're going to go up. Step two is where it gets a little more complicated. That's when I sat down and said, okay, what days of the week am I going to film these? Because I need one day for each week. I work a full-time job. I was doing a show. I work with clients online. So I work full-time job, music business, YouTube clients, and I was in a musical all at once. So I actually decided I didn't want to cut out any time for family and friends. So I woke up at 5.30 or 6 o'clock on filming days. Granted, not a morning person. I actually did a video on how to become a morning person, which I will link right above in the cards because I had to become one real quick. But anyway, jumping back on track. So I believe it was Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, three days a week. I would wake up two hours early and getting up two hours earlier for those three days gave me six hours of time. And in those six hours each week, I would film five videos, edit, plan their uploads, like their thumbnails, their copy their SEO, all that stuff would be figured out. And then I used the YouTube scheduler once they were all set and done. I also made it really easy. Some people like to use like their iPhones or their iPads to write out their ideas. I was keeping a lot of my stuff on steno pads. So I would know it would say the day of the week, like the topic, like if we were talking YouTube or money or budget or self-improvement, it would stay down. It would stay down here. Then I would have the exact title of the video and then all the notes. So I would have it all there for me and it was just very organized. I think one of the biggest misunderstandings with YouTubers is people think, oh, we just sit in front of a camera and talk and upload it and that's great. We'll figure out a topic when we get there. There is so much writing and planning and strategy that goes into this, even if you're just doing a video by yourself. Uh, July, I did a collaboration video with nine other channels. So that was planning and scheduling for not just me, it was 10 ladies. We are going to get a gentleman in the next one, I promise. Anyway, so step one was the planning on the calendar. Step two was implementing when the filming was going to be done and waking up and becoming a morning person and giving myself six extra hours in the week. And if that wasn't enough, step three was figuring out when to edit. It's one thing you just sit down and say, here are my filming times. But then if you don't have time to edit it, that filming was for nothing. So I sat down and said, here are the times I'm going to dedicate strictly to editing. And to be very honest, I'm a little bit of an ADD kind of person. Like if I know I have a lot of stuff to do, I have to put everything else away and focus. Like I'm not super ADD, like see a squirrel and freak out. But if I have a lot of things to do, 
in one day, I have to like have it on a list and dedicate times and blocks to do them. Uh, there's an app I've actually used, unsponsored app. I've actually mentioned it in previous videos. It's called Tide. It's just a free productivity app. It just times out 25 minutes. Camera died. That's fun. Anyway, it is a free productivity app, and what it does is it times out 25 minutes for you. And it'll play music without any words or just background sounds for 25 minutes, and then it will ding once those 25 minutes have passed, and then you are to schedule yourself a five to 15 minute break. What I like to do is I'll make a list and I'll say, okay, in this 25 minutes, I'm gonna focus on getting A done. Once everything on list A is done, I can start the break early, or if the timer goes off and list A isn't done, I will go back and finish it once I take that 15 minute break. If you guys do want to try Tide, I will have it linked down below if you want to just look it up. It's free in the App Store and it just really helps me keep focused. Then once the planning, the filming, the editing is all done, then the fun part of just uploading it and then scheduling and designing the thumbnail and when it's going to go up, all that stuff kind of took place afterwards. And finally, after all that work was done, I did everything I could to optimize views on those videos. I feel like I'm mentioning previous videos in this one, but if you missed my how to optimize your YouTube views and get more views to your channel, I'll link it up here only because I don't want to have to reemphasize all those things. And that video was just very focused on it, but I wanted to try and get as many eyeballs on my videos in the first 24 to 48 hours because that's what helps it show up in search later. And again, that is all talked about in that video up above. But things I did is I utilized all my social media platforms. There are certain ways that I would post to my Facebook or my Instagram or my Twitter. Again, those are discussed up above in the card. I'm just going to keep saying that over and over again because there are certain ways that work better on each platform. If you're interested, go ahead and check that out. And then the last thing I did that is kind of new for me to do is I was emailing my email list like every Friday, just updates. Hey, if you missed it, here's something new. Instagram stories, I would just screenshot uh, the picture or the icon of the new video going out. And I would say, hey guys, new video, link in bio, you know, all that fun stuff. But the email list was really nice because I could see who opened the email, who clicked what video, so I could see what kind of topics my followers were interested in. And then I would hand those videos over to my clients as well to show them, you know, here's what I'm working on. Is there anything that you would like to learn that you see in these videos that you want to do for yourself or include in your videos? I'm finding it really rewarding to just sit down with clients over Skype and just kind of discuss their goals and my goals. But it is also nice to share with them my video so they can see, you know, here's what Kristen's doing. Here's how she's implementing here, are all the steps she is taking. And this video is kind of just like scratching the surface, everything that we talk about in those sessions. But I did want to share with you guys this kind of milestone. Again, this is not a brag, look at me sort of thing. I just wanted to share with you guys what I was doing because I've been getting a lot of emails. 99.9% .9 of them are really nice and encouraging. Like, hey girl, saw your channel's really grown. You're putting a lot of work into this, I can tell. And there's always the one or two that are just emailing and saying things like, I know that you're cheating the system and you're buying views, you're buying subscribers. Girl, if I were buying subscribers, I would have more than 5,000 subscribers. Anyway, I try not to really respond to the haters or the trolls because they're going to be there. I feel like I got this far from that hard work. And on top of everything we've just previously talked about in this process, I was taking at least three or four classes online, like during my lunch breaks or in between projects at work. I would take like 15 minute breaks and take notes on just online classes and interviews that talked about everything from SEO, the best ways to market, social media marketing, affiliate marketing. Like all, I feel like I got a third education. I feel like I now have a third degree just because I sat down. I'm on my third notebook of notes. People would think I'm absolutely insane and they're probably right. But I wanted to sit down and kind of make a video explaining here's why there was so much growth. Here's what happened to my channel. If anybody wants this to happen to them, here's how I did it. I'm not saying it will happen for you. It might or might not. You might have a better, you know, response than I did. I'm just letting you know, here are the things that I did and I don't regret it. I feel like that was the biggest challenge I've ever given myself for a summer. Days that would start at five o'clock in the morning and not end until 11 o'clock at night. Those were tough days, but now that the hard work is done, I've never woken up in the morning and said, man, I feel really bad that I got up and got all that stuff done. Just put in the work, put in the work.
If you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the description box. If you want to email me any specific questions personally, you can email them. My email address is also listed below. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and I wish you all the best of luck in your journey. If you've experienced a lot of growth in your YouTube channel and you want to share that as well, go ahead and leave that down below. Anyway, if you like these kind of growth and YouTube kind of videos, give this one a thumbs up. And if you're watching this unsubscribed, click that little red subscription button. It'll update you to all my future videos. Happy September, you guys. It is officially fall, and I've got so much great content coming for you guys. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.